it gets worse for Snow White. Before we get started, guys, I would just like to ask you to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm, and I greatly appreciate that. Now, last week I made a video about Snow White and how Disney has decided to go woke with Snow White. She's no longer Snow White. She is Hispanic Snow, I guess. I don't know. The reason her name was Snow White was because her skin was white as snow, and they've decided to replace Snow White with a Hispanic woman. Now, that's not the worst part about the cast. The worst part about the cast is that they've decided that they're not going to have any dwarves playing actual dwarves. This is supposed to be a live action remake, so it's going to be real people, but they're not having dwarves play dwarves. I'm going to put the photos on the screen for you guys to see what the cast is if you didn't catch my last week's video. In the name of being inclusive, they actually decided to exclude one of the more underrepresented groups, Hollywood, I would say, and replacing them with dwarves that are women, black, white. There's literally one one dwarf in this live action remake but that's not the only thing that is bad at this point a video has resurfaced the actress talking about what the new snow white is going to be based upon and let's go ahead and watch that video and then we'll give our reaction to it afterwards you said you were bringing a modern edge to it on stage what do you mean by that i just mean that it's no longer 1937 <laughs> and we absolutely wrote a Snow White that she's is not going to be yeah. saved by the prince. She's not going to be saved by the prince, and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be, and the leader that her late father told her that she could be if she was fearless, fair, brave, and true. And so it's just a really incredible story for I think young people everywhere to see themselves in. Snow White is running for president. <laughs> I'm launching my campaign. <laughs> So, as you guys saw right there, these are the comments of the actress that's playing Snow White. They have basically decided that they've made a new story, a bastardized story, because it's not Snow White. The character isn't true to the story of what she's supposed to be. There is one dwarf, and now she's not going to be saved by the prince. At this point, this is a totally different story in which Disney just decided to slap the name Snow White to it. I mean, there's no way to get around that. And it's kind of crazy how these movies or these adaptations of these old films are now telling little girls that they don't need men and that they can be leaders and they can be strong and powerful which sure i do agree with i'm not saying that women can't be leaders women can can 100 get ahead in life and do whatever it is that they want but to say that women don't need men is kind of asinine to me and it goes both ways i feel like a lot of people in our society have devolved into thinking that we don't need each other as a species there are things that we need women for as men and there are things that women women need men for it's supposed to be a beneficial relationship for both sides there is nothing wrong with being rescued by a man we as a society have decided that women and children are more important than men in certain situations just like when it comes to i'm going to give you an example right the titanic most of the people that they were saving were the women and the children whenever there's an accident in anything any kind of situation we always worry about the women and the children and there's nothing wrong with that because we as men have taken the role traditionally of protectors we have protected protected our women and our children you know we go to war we fight for our countries that's just what history has been so there is nothing wrong with telling women that they can be leaders and that they can be powerful and strong but there is something inherently wrong in my opinion telling women that they don't need men and them bastardizing this story for the sake of what it's a story that has withstood the test of time i'll be honest i mean no what is a popular story that's been around for many many decades and they've decided that they're gonna do this and i guarantee you I already know what's going to happen. This live action remake, it's going to go the same path that Little Mermaid went. It's going to be bad. Not a lot of people are going to like it. And then they're just going to blame racism and sexism. Oh, it's ra it's because racism, because, uh, you know, Snow White, she wasn't a white character. So therefore, white people were mad about, you know, a Hispanic woman playing Snow White. Or, you know, they were mad that the dwarves aren't dwarves and they're not white people. And then they're going to claim it's sexism. Oh, it's sexism. They didn't like the actress because she's a woman and she's She's a, an empowered woman that's strong. No, a lot of the times people don't like these stories. They don't like these movies. It's because they're inherently bad, not because anybody hates women or these characters or whatever it is. If that were the case, there would be no movies in which has, you know, women leads that would do good. There's plenty of movies that people go see that have women as leads and do great in the box office. Historically, Charlie's Angels, Kill Bill, and, you know, Lara Croft and the Tomb Raider, just to give you three examples of movies that 
people absolutely love that had women leads. But this is what it's gonna turn into. The princess is no longer, she's not, she's not a princess, she's a girl boss. And this is what we need to be teaching our children, especially our little girls, that they don't need men. And then when they hit their 30s or 40s and they're lonely with two cats and they're depressed and have no kids, then we don't know why that happened. Maybe it's because as a society, we've decided that we're gonna push women into the workforce and tell them they don't need to have children and tell them they don't, that the family structure is no longer needed and that they don't need men. And again, it's a it's a beneficial situation for, for both sides. I'm, I'm not saying that it's just women that need men. Men actually need women as well. But we don't tell men that they don't need women. But we do tell women that they don't need men. And I think that's wrong. Anyways, guys, this is just a quick video I wanted to make. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Follow me on social media. The links are always in the description down below. And if you like this video, check out one of my other videos right here. They're on the screen. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.